everybody, Sharon and I here out in our beautiful meadow, sun beaten down, shades on. <laughs> Alright, let's march. So we decided we're going to do kind of a challenging one today. So if you're just starting out, don't start here because we're going to go ahead and push it, doing some more um, intense cardio, some more multi-muscle moves. But if you're ready for a challenge, join us. And you can still take this to where you need it to go. Ready? Step tap. Right there. As always, starting with our dynamic stretching. You're seeing a dog here you don't recognize. That's my daughter's dog, Denica. Many of you know Denica. Hamstring curls now. They got in town um, two days ago. And it's so fun. They're going to be here for about two months. And when we go, my husband and I go lead our retreats, they're going to watch all the dogs. Yeah. Four, three, overhead punch. Stretch out that side. Sharon's been on quite a few of our retreats. What's your favorite thing about them? Oh my goodness, do I have to pick one? No. <laughs> Nature, community, um, solitude, and when you want it, community when you want it, fun, great food, wonderful people in every country we've been to. Who wouldn't want that? <laughs> and just He's time high. to get closer to Jesus. Yeah. He's with us. He loves our retreats. <laughs> Agree. Stay on your heels. Four more. Three. Two. Right here. That's one of my favorite lines. They're going to hear because I'm going to shout. I want to be a megaphone for Jesus. Get his message out because it's what the world needs. Switch sides. Reach forward, reach, open. So always do dynamic stretching before working out. Four, three, big circles now. Two more. And tricep stretch. I thought it was going to be kind of cool today. Yes. Toasty? It's pretty toasty. <laughs> I have a feeling you're going to hear see some sweat. Switch sides. Alright, hip circles. They're like, why do you wear all that? <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't white be that color? Switch sides. Just keep your feet swimming. All right, we're going to start with some light weights. All right, we're going to come right here. Now, you want light weights here, not heavy. One side only. Good. So one arm is doing isometric, just holding. Other one moves.
22 miles. I listened to this song many times, and what was touching my heart so much is oh, wait, this is the wrong song. Yeah, this is a great song. This has another story. It has a similar title. Yeah, oh, this is a fan. Never mind. Take it forward. Three, four, this way. Four, three, two, back. Four, three, two, this way. Four, three, now back. Four, three, two, this way. Three, forward, four, three, two, this way.
Other side. One more set. You're doing good, Leo. Putting them here, press, press. Now an 
option is just lift, lift, lift. Good. Keep your core pulling up and in. Good. Up. Up. You got it. Eight, seven, six, five, three, two, one. Now we're going to extend our arm out, reach across, and pull. Pull. Step it out. Good. Now make sure you're keeping that elbow nice and high as you pull across your body. Get your weight into your heels when you step out. Arms 
up, double, single, now double, single. Now punch, double, single, other side, double, single, double, single. All right, right here, double, single, double. Single. Double. Single. I got it now. One more. All right. Double. Double. Shake. 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 cover the lie with the truth of what God says. You replace it and make every thought captive to the truth of scripture. Oh, 
punch. Single. Double. Give you a challenging one, so I hope you're being challenged today. All right, we're gonna pick up our, our band of handles. I woke up this morning out in front of us. We're gonna work our rhomboid, those muscles that go over the shoulder blades. Okay, right here, tension. Press, press. Now don't let it get slack, and don't let it kind of snap you around. Work that back, shoulders back and down. something in your heart into action. It says, you know, we can go to God and say, why don't you do this? How come you're not doing that? And he's like, hold on a second. I am. You know what I did? I created you. Ooh, wow. You know, prayers are amazing and important, but we also have to be obedient and respond to what he tells us to do in that situation. And it might be nothing. He might be calling you to sit and wait. But he might be calling you to action. Are you willing to listen and then be obedient? Alright, we're going to take it up overhead, working our lats, which come down here, so you'll feel it more here. Arms up. Ready? Down, up. Now, option is this.
We're gonna do some bicep curls now. Like this. So this song is called Red Letters. If you're not familiar with that term, they are the words in the Bible that Jesus speaks. And if you've gone through and read the Gospels a couple times and you're familiar with the kind of story, I recommend reading just the red letters, just the words he spoke, so you can see the heart of Jesus and how he interacts with people. If you don't have that in your Bible, you can go to Bible Gateway and under the settings, BibleGateway.com, set it so you can see the red letters and just focus on them and go through and let those words help you to fall in love with Jesus for you to trust him with all areas of your life. Four more. for the obliques, that twisting added weight. Two more. All right, water. Step forward. 
good with jabs. Now hook. Undercut.
between your knees, put your arms out to the side, really squeeze that ball, work it in her thighs, drop your legs. Keep going. This song, guys, go to Google, search out lyrics to the song by Zach Williams, Looking For You. And it just talks about how we, our heart was created to long for love, long for purpose, long for peace. And how initially in the song he talks about searching for it in all the wrong places. Let's go ahead now and come up right here, squeezing it. Looking for it in all the wrong places. And he says, all along God, you knew what I needed was you. And then at the end of the song, he comes to realizing after trying all these things, that what he really was looking for was the love of his heavenly father. So good. Squeeze it.
switch sides. show a power with this weight. Ready?
step a little forward. Ready? Inhale up. Come forward. Halfway up, flat back. Hands down. Longer jump feet back. Bring it back. And to opposite shin. Hips come up. because more than anything after a workout I want you to be ready to keep your eyes on Jesus all day bring it in front and twist keep that knee up feel it here Look at Jesus and we say, help me. I believe in you. Help me to turn from those things. We're redeemed. Bottom of your feet together. I hope you like dogs. <laughs> I do. One leg in front of the other and pull forward. of what
what Jesus did. I am righteous. I am worthy. I am lovable. All of it. Back and front for us. Stay with me for one second. I just want to show you something I was thinking about. When we bought our house almost 20 years ago, my husband and I were not followers of Jesus. And the cool thing is that God knew in advance the work that my husband and I would be doing. This property down here is where we've held events maybe a thousand people all together have come to him and he gave us this place he gave us a place where we could have a tent to have large groups to little areas where couples could sit and reconnect in their marriage to this beautiful stream that we could come by and kind of just have it as a little sanctuary again my husband and I didn't know the plan God had for our property. We didn't know I'd be teaching classes out of the old workroom on the property. But again, he knew. And that's what I hope can bring you peace someday, or maybe right now, just knowing that he's in charge, he sees you, and he has a plan for you. And I am so grateful that God has provided this for us.